Okay, so my name is Brian Modena, and my colleague is Emmanuel Wambua. So today you are going to talk about ideal and practical FICTA responses. And basically what this means is that all the responses that we've done from the band pass, high pass, low pass, and the notch responses can be categorized into two, either ideal responses or practical responses. Ideal responses are difficult to achieve simply because the components that we are using in filter fabrication are usually not that ideal to themselves and plus they take a lot of time or sorry not a lot of time but they take quite some time to charge to maximum and to discharge we shall see this later when you're doing analysis because the energy storing components, that is the capacitor and inductor, usually take time to charge and to discharge. And that is why achieving this idle response is usually more theoretical than realistic. But however, in our filter design, we shall always try to be as close as to the ideal as possible so that you are able to avoid unnecessary losses because any fabrication that will come out to be having so many losses is going to have a very poor efficiency and its overall cost will be very expensive at the end. And this is because, suppose you are taking a signal and most of it is wasted as losses, the output that you're going to get, you realize is not what that you had expected. And so we try to design filters to be as ideal as possible, such that, for example, if you are using a TV or a radio or anything that produces sound, and we have noise that is available in that system, we try to ensure that we do not have that noise and that the voice that you're going to get from that audio appliance is as clean as possible. Now, let us look at ideal and practical filter responses. Now, an ideal response is a response that usually mimics a brick wall characteristic. That's why they are also known as brick wall characteristics. What this means is that at exactly the cutoff frequency, FC, the unwanted signal is taken to zero. Okay? So these are the unwanted frequencies, and these are the wanted frequencies. So any frequency range, so the wanted frequency is within this range, from zero to FC. This we, can, we would like to have these frequencies. But any frequency that is beyond FC goes to zero immediately. No roll of nothing. As you can see, this is very steep. The roll off is very, very, very fast. That you can see the change from one to zero is abrupt. One to zero is very abrupt. Now, the ideal characteristics of a low pass filter, the practical characteristics, sorry, is battery. And you say this is the 0 0.707, you say this is 1, and you say this is the cutoff frequency. And as you can see, from the cutoff frequency onwards, this change from 1 to 0 is not that abrupt. We have some time, and that means some of these frequencies, some of these unwanted frequencies are available in your, in your system. So this is what we call the ideal response. or the brick wall characteristic. And this is what we call the practical response. And the reason as to why we usually do not achieve this 
ideal responses because we usually use energy storage ele elements that is the capacitor and in some cases the inductor in, in passive filters and that's why we have this transition so in this case this is our pass band and this is our stop band this is our cutoff frequency similarly this is our pass band and this is our stop band so this was low pass filter now let's look at the high pass filter So the ideal characteristics of a high pass filter is that one. So this is FC, this is zero, and this is the pass band region. And this is the stop band, stop band region. And its practical characteristics FC, this one, so pass, stop. Uh, let's look at the um, band pass filter. So it's a deal characteristic, it's that way. So you see this is a pass band. And this is our stop band. Similarly, stop. And it's practical, characteristic. So this is our pass band. This is our stop band. Uh, we can also come and look about look at the band reject or notch filter. The deal response. So this is our pass band. So our stop band. Passment. However, the practical response so there's a stop band, it's a pass band. Passport. So, this is exactly all about the ideal and practical responses for the general classifications of filters. The next video will be on filter, other classifications of filters. Thank you.